Hi, I'm Ken with Dent Discount. Do you like big dents? Well, you subscribe to the right channel. Today, PDR Extreme Dent Removal. A 30 inch smash across the fender edge. Let's roll the video. Here is the Acura Fender. That tape is representing a straight edge. It's over an inch deep. Do you like big dents? What is your dent average size? I will discuss more on that later in the video. You can see how the fender dent edge takes on an S shape. The edge is extremely out of alignment. Extreme dents like this take patience and planning out. You can make a note of the clear coat and paint. There are many hairline fractures. If you're counting the inches, you have 12 plus 12 plus six, you have 30 inches of real estate. And then you also have a 12 by three by the door. So you have a 15 by 30 inch. This is definitely a replacement panel. However, I will save it. The door is now rubbing. There is damage on the door as well. However, the customer is not concerned with that. They are more concerned with the front fender. Here is another angle with the light. The edge will need to be lined up. Not a problem. I've done a few of these. backing up the camera you can see how deep that's a good angle there how deep the dent is and here is under natural lighting you can see the front nose of that fender edge pretty deep the entire fender buckles up underneath rolls inward and here's with my four foot dent light it's a four by twelve and you can see the good rolling effect there. The entire edge needs to be restored. I'm cleaning, I'm prepping the panel. I'm getting ready for a PDR glue tab. And there you go. The tab is ready to go with eye bolts in place. I'm checking the temperature, it's in pulling range. I'm going to be using my two index fingers to grab and rip off the fender. Not exactly, I'm just pulling it enough to line up, line up the edge with the door. Checking, with the, checking the alignment with my two thumbs. It's good to go. Nice and level. The door is now opening nicely. No rubbing. Now it's time to remove the PDR glue tab and glue residue. I removed all the push pins under the fender. I'm pushing back the inner liner. The liner is moving nicely for me. I need all the open air space I can get underneath that fender for lining up the S shape and the deepest section by the headlamp. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the next step? The dent pushing time with the almighty dent dial. <laughs> Here you go, wide leather tip. You put a little mite behind the almighty dent dial, you can do some damage. In the beginning, after I received my dent dial, I went on some practice runs. I wanted to see what it would do. I wanted to see if I'd get any flex on the tool. So I put my bionic bicep and tricep behind the push on a couple practice deep dents and I blew out the fender. It's like a loaded shotgun. It can get out of hand. Pow! When I'm doing extreme PDR on a fender, this would be my go-to for monster pushes. This tool is wide and flat, 
so the tool won't roll off the tire and create more damage. I can push and use my hammer off dolly or my hammer on dolly method with this tool. I'm not going in in one big push, I'm going in just to feel out the pressure response and the breaking point. I almost had to put another stabilizing bar up there so the fender would not blow up, blow out. So I'm using my Delrin slapper, which is bent in roughly about a 45 degree angle. I'm going after and taking out the pressure crowns layer by layer. All right, I have a special little interruption announcement. I want to give back to the beginners because I was once one weekly. Uh, I'm going to share my dent size with you. <laughs> My last nine dent posts, 24 inch dent, a 17 inch dent, a 27, 18, I did a four, a 21, a 10, a 24 inch dent, a 21 inch dent. The average for my last nine dent posts was 18.4 inches. So if you're wanting to get your dent average up, you can put a note down in the comment below, subscribe to the channel, and let's do this together. So now back to the video. You can see with my dent light, it's cleaning up nicely. I'm now filling in and finishing up on my final pushes. I'm taking out the micro lows. I'm curious to know, I would like some feedback. You mobile PDR dent techs, what is the average dent size are you doing out in the field? When I was a beginner, I would only prefer one to two inch dents and then I would head to my next stop. I would not want to take on extreme dents or big dents. And what about you advanced dent guys? What are your what is your average dent size? An 8 inch dent, a 10 inch, a 12 inch? I'm really also curious to know what you PDR techs would charge. Leave a comment down below. If you don't know, heck, make one up. I've talked to many dent guys at the local dealers. They would charge $50, $75. Other dent guys would charge $150 to $250 for big dents and extreme dents. They would get 10 to 15 cars at the dealer and the dealer would get a, a volume package, $50 each unit about to show you the finished product. Before I do, I have a sneak peek of my next video. You don't want to miss, so you may want to hit the sub and notification button. Yeah, look at that nasty dent. I'm really excited to get this extreme dent video out to you. So far, 2020 in January, this is the dent of the year at my shop. This is a replacement panel. This is not a good candidate for PDR paintless dent remote. Why? The paint and the seam sealer is broken badly. You will get to watch me repair it next week. Here is the finished product. We are six feet away. I'm going to show you the before and the after. Let's start with the after, the finished product. The 30 inch S shaped fender edge smash. The dent is gone. For those of you that want to get your dent average up and want to do bigger dents, you subscribe to the right channel. Fractured paint from the impact side swipe on the fender. I did not polish out the panel yet. Some will say, well, well, you did bodywork and paint on the panel, so I intentionally left the paint scuffs. You can see the bumper lined up really nice. And here is the before, and you can see that S shape in the fender. The edge is completely wiped out, in and out, in and out. You can see that deep section there. The edge of the fender is pushed in. Fracture paint there on the crown. So here's the final pan on the panel. Looking down the side, you can see that edge lined up really nice. It is super straight. Looking really good. 
and a 180 from the last angle looking down looking good from this angle too as well is PDR your passion and you're wanting to get better and you're wanting more techniques to add to your arsenal I will be doing PDR big dent videos weekly thank you for spending time with my award-winning company leave a comment below looking forward to seeing you at my next PDR extreme dent removal until next time.